I am uh, Nicole Eisenbrown. I am a dual board certified urologist. Um, I trained at the University of Florida and then was in practice for 16 years in Panama City, Florida, and I have retired to Orlando, where I now exclusively only offer non-surgical options for erectile dysfunction. And uh, I've really enjoyed um, being a participant with Gainswave and the Gainswave organization, which has been very professional and has gotten some remarkable results for my clients. Um, this is the way I explain it, and um, maybe I'm not completely technically correct, but Gainswave uh, uses uh, low intensity shockwave uh, therapy. Um, and as a urologist, we use um, shockwave therapy all the time, and we have so for several decades to break up kidney stones. But to break up a, a rock, we do it at a very high intensity. This is at a much lower intensity, um, so that this wave that goes through the tissue stimulates a low-grade inflammatory response. And that inflammatory response is how the body knows that it has an area that needs to be healed. We believe that these radial waves that pass through the tissue, um, they activate the stem cells, which are a very important part of healing. They, um, I think of it as a, a treatment that kind of softens the stiffness of the arteries, which is a problem, and that makes them more distensible so that um, when you go to get an erection, they will fill up faster and better. But probably, at least in my opinion, the most important thing that it does is it stimulates something called neoangiogenesis, which literally means new blood vessels. So the combination of healthier old blood vessels and then new blood vessels, that equates to a, um, a more robust uh, blood flow in reaction to, you know, arousal. And that will collapse the venous channels and you'll get a harder, longer erection that um, will last longer and be more satisfying. So that's how we believe that it works. Well, that's actually kind of a challenging question because there are all kinds of people that I think are good candidates. Probably easier to start out with who is not a candidate. Um, Gaines Wave strictly improves blood flow. So if blood flow is the problem, um, Gaines Wave is, is an excellent option for you. And people like the idea of doing something natural to help restore the health of the tissue as opposed to doing medicine shots or surgery. But for example, if, if it's a neurologic problem, then this is probably not for you. Um, some examples of that would be like someone who had prostate cancer and they had their prostate surgically removed and the nerves were severed. If that's the case, then Gainswave really isn't going to be an option for you. You really need to go on to either injections or a penile prosthesis. Uh, someone who has a spinal cord injury is probably in a similar position. But we have a range of people that this works very well for. Um, one of the largest or fastest growing segments of the population that are interested in improving their erections, believe it or not, are young men, like in their 30s and 40s. Um, and they're finding that they just don't have the same erection they did when they were in their 20s. And now they're nibbling on a little bit of Viagra or Salus and don't want to. And they just want their oomph back. Um, that's an excellent group that does very, very well with this because we don't have to improve them that much. We just have to just amp them up a little bit. Um, but we also deal with people who are in their 70s. Uh, I have a, a, even in their 80s who um, can't get a hard enough erection to penetrate anymore, which is which is really difficult for people because they have to be able to get hard enough to penetrate to be able to be intimate with their, their uh, spouse or their partner. Um, we do um, a great job with those people. I had a client, believe it or not, um, just that I finished treatment about three weeks ago and his shim score was five, which I know that doesn't mean anything to you, but you know, um, or to the people that might be listening to this, but it's the lowest score you can get on the erection scale. And his, his uh, um, score went up 15 points. So he's almost now back to perfect function and he and his wife are so happy I can't even explain. So, so there's lots of people that are good candidates um, as long as it's a blood flow issue. There, there really aren't any side effects. 
Um, there's no downtime, so you can come in, get your treatment, go leave the office and do whatever it is you want to do when you get done. Uh, the treatment itself for some people hurts a little bit because it's a, a tapping or a vibration uh, that's going through the tissue. So we do give people a numbing cream to put on and all of my clients do really well with the numbing cream. Although I have uh, probably about 10 or 20% of my clients that don't use numbing cream at all and they do fine. The three ways clients have described it to me is like little rubber bands. You know, like if you had like a little rubber band and it kind of snapped your skin. Um, or if you're holding a sparkler on the 4th of July and the little little sparkles hit, mm -hmm. hit your wrist. Um, and I had one client describe it as being at a heavy metal rock concert and feeling the vibration, but no discomfort. So I don't know if that makes it a little bit more tangible for people, but that's the way clients have described it to me. a question I get every single time. We know from Gaines Wave data that if you just take a generic population, 85% of people will get significant improvement in their erections. Um, the key is trying to figure out who those people are. Um, I believe that the, the best client is the one who is functioning. They're able to get an erection. They're able to penetrate. They maybe just lose it or it's not as hard as they used to be. Um, I have to be pretty honest with people that if they're not getting any erection at all, it's gonna be a much bigger challenge, but we have had success with those clients. And there is proof. We, do, we know from animal studies that there are new blood vessels that develop. Um, I feel sorry for the little animals that had to, to go through that, but we have to figure it out somehow. So we do know that the blood vessel density in the penis gets um, better with these treatments. It depends on uh, a couple of things. Number one, where you are on the spectrum. If you're pretty high functioning, you probably don't need as many treatments as somebody who, like I said, was in the single digits on that, that score. Um, but we have, as, as Gainswave certified providers, we all offer the same protocols. Um, and there's three general protocols that we typically offer. One's called the six pack, which is six gains wave treatments, which I do weekly, although you can do two treatments a week or one treatment a week. I like carrying it out to about six weeks. Um, there's the 12 pack, which is 12 treatments. And that's sort of ideal for someone who's a little bit lower on the scale and they're gonna need more treatments. And they get a little bit of a price break for that. The most popular uh, protocol that I have in my practice is the enhanced. Um, because I get really good results with it. And that's a combination of two technologies where we use Gainswave, which we do six treatments there. And then we combine it with two P-Shots, which is uh, platelet-rich plasma therapy, which really enhances the healing. Um, most people, and they get two, two of those. Um, we do them on the third and the sixth. And I kind of think of it as like throwing gasoline on the fire. So mm -hmm. we've got this low grade inflammatory response going on. And then we throw a high concentration of growth factor on and it just explodes the healing process. We do recommend a maintenance program and, and the way that I think about it is that during that six weeks it's like you going to the gym and working out with a trainer. If you never go back to the gym after that your function is going to go back to the way that you were. So we use whatever treatment package we decide is right for you to get you functioning back to where you're happy. Um, then we recommend that you come in and get just one gains wave treatment every three to six months. My clients seem to do better if they come in every three to four, um, but everybody's individual. We also ask people to do all of their homework um, after their finished treatment, because it's not just the treatments. The protocol involves a lot of things, which includes exercise in the penis, which is really, really important. So I always counsel everybody on what they need to do to maintain their results. And then they just come back in for a visit every three to four months. That's a good question and to be honest with you, I don't know that anybody can say for certain. However, um, the worse your condition is, the harder it's going to be to treat. Um, that's why I think I mentioned earlier that my young men do really well because they haven't lost as much ground. So they get back up to where they're really happy pretty easily. Uh, the gentleman who hasn't been able to have intercourse for five years 
um, is going to be a much bigger challenge. Um, the, the way that I kind of describe it is, you know, if the house just needs a, a coat of paint, you can make it look great with a coat of paint. But if the house is falling down, that coat of paint isn't really gonna make much of a difference. So um, I encourage people to treat problems when they first start noticing them, as opposed to waiting until the house has fallen apart.